Breaking uh, Thomas! You do realize that impersonation is a crime, right, Thomas? Are we really moving in this direction to where it's now okay for anyone to act like any profession they want and everyone is supposed to be okay with that? I understand if it's for fun and games, but when you actually think you're whatever profession and not letting the actual experts handle whatever situation, uh, that's not okay. I can't even say anything about the cyclone part because after watching that a few times, it's not even that exciting. No, it's not. I swear, the writers literally have no clue what they're doing when writing these kinds of stories. In the words of Isla, this is exactly what I would tell Thomas. Best leave this to the medical professionals. Number two. I think I know what Trusty Rusty. What? Here is season seven's worst episode what kind of jackass is that foolish enough to remove a danger sign really when rusty says don't use the old wooden bridge it's dangerous how about actually listening yeah hey there's an idea also why is duncan back to hating on rusty i thought this was cleared up in season four but how would you know you're only a diesel Rusty always makes things sound worse than they are. Yeah, apparently that didn't last long. I'm confused as to why nobody even offered to help Duncan if he would have run out of coal. Oh wait, I forgot. Nobody knows how to do that. Honestly, Duncan and his dickhead driver should have fallen. That'd teach him both. What's worse is that later on in the series, after this incident, Duncan clearly hadn't learned a thing because many episodes later, he ended up running through a barrier because... I wanted an adventure. And then the dumb <laughs> trapped himself in the mine. I do hope the driver got sacked for this idiotic action. That kind of thing should not go unpunished. Yeah, it should. Obviously, we don't see it, but one can only hope. I just can't even with this episode. I, I really can't. And number, number one... Number one. Too loud, Thomas. Okay, I have to agree. Is it all? No. This is Thomas. Just not no. only the worst, but it's the most annoying and cringiest episode it I is think so cringy. I of us have had the displeasure to sit through. There goes Thomas, trying to follow on whatever the f Lorenzo does. You can already sing very nicely. You do not need to know opera and copy Lorenzo and Beppis. I wanted to rip my ears out every time I heard Thomas try to sing. That voice was just so piercing, it was going right through me. So it, much I wanted to throw my iPad across the room. I wanted to- It says an awful lot when I feel that Mays and Hasler's performances were very irritating. The only thing I can say that I honestly enjoyed about this was when Thomas finally shut the hell up. Freaking dumbass deserved it for all I, or yeah. all of us, could really give a shit. What didn't help was that the whistling was just as annoying. I'd like to put Thomas right up to the writer's ear and have them suffer the way we did. Yeah. You guys want to hear this 24-7? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. Oh! All right, everybody, that's it. I need to rinse my ears after that. I'll see you all in the next video.